driving to Tulum today guys uh, without the family visiting the school to check out how they are doing going to the Tulum meetup meeting some crypto people and at the end today tonight I'm going to go to the meetup in Playa de Carmen and we are soon leaving Mexico so yeah taking the time to meet up with all the crypto people in Mexico on this beautiful Wednesday enjoy the video bam What are you doing, Jessa? I'm packing my things I don't need for children who does need it. So you're packing all this stuff? Yeah. And you bought it here in Mexico? No, not all of the things. Do you still wear diapers or what? No, my cousin left it here. And we're going to give this to the school? Yeah. This one? The whole thing is still under construction, guys. So it's still a lot being built. And, you know, it's poor people living in the skirts of Tulum, where a lot of rich people go. But this is the whole truth as well, guys. It's not all rich people in Mexico. So, I will just follow Fernando. And to, Fernando is the one that is building everything. He's now helping the family to carry some water. He's a guy with a golden heart. Today I'm visiting the school again. Let's see how far they are with building. They had some huge issues with a tropical storm in October, November, I think. Um, so it got stuck a little bit, but they are making progress and I'm going to share you with you now what they are doing. You can see my view already like, maybe I need to do it like this. Bam, you already have a little bit of view. You can see that they are still building. Um, I'm going to walk around and just show you what they are building so that you understand. You can see that the plants already are growing tremendously. Big, big plants over there. Um, they have still a lot of construction to do, but um, I will show you a little bit around what I can see till now. The dogs, of course, welcoming me over here. The barbecue is not ready. Uh, no food for me today, but I'm getting too fat, so that's good. Um, connections of the internet, everything is all set. Guys, we got chairs and everything for the kids. Look, really cool chairs. And um, they are made from recycled materials. Um, there, you can see Planet Listo. Um, it's the same material that the roof is made of. It's all recycled material. So this is all recycled, they can sit and they can ride and their pen can be there. Really cool, so that's uh, also going even a thing that we can put on the wheelchair on the kids that are disabled. So that's also really cool to see guys. Uh, like you can see, everything is still on the construction. Um, huge, I think banana tree over there. Yeah, fresh bananas already. Um, let's see, the whiteboard is over here now. The classroom has been built over there now. So I'm going to show you a little bit more. Uh, it's uh, awesome to be here again. Uh, just, yeah, it's just wonderful to see what with the community, what we could have done and we are still doing over here. Um, this was the toilet building. They built with seaweed and all kinds of Mexican style, um, original way of building. It didn't work out to be the best. So this one is going to be converted to some storage rooms and they are building a new toilet over here in this huge new building that you see on the back. This was completely empty. This is where it all started with this very small school building, like not even a building. And now we are creating this whole building here. Like, I'm happy to see all the results, guys. I know that one of you, some of you might think, oh, that's not like quickly, but it's a, you know, it's a homemade, self-made volunteer project. So nothing is moving as fast as you expect by a huge building company. But still, look, we built a classroom. This is the location where that shed was. You know that with the golf place, that's like small shed. This whole construction was built here. This is almost finished, some windows and some a door maybe. And there's going to be a huge whiteboard. You can see it's completely protected from the rain. There is some construction also going on. That is the, the path to the garden. Do you still remember? Wait, let's go there. I will show you. Hopefully you still recognize it. There's a lot of work being done um, and they had a lot of problems, but you know, they, they are still managing to do fine. Um, so you can see over here, guys, this is of course now where the kids were playing outside. Let's see. 
that was that place and the gate is closed I don't know if I can open it because the dogs are here but you can see that we are even making some more construction over here rooms storage over there I know it looks messy uh, the kids are still having classes in that part over there now but this is going to finish we um, I think at the moment the donation pot is like empty so I'm going to add a little bit to the pot again so they can continue the construction oh sorry and yeah you know other people can of course always help but let's see they understood that volunteers at the moment is very important volunteers and that's what we need to reach some people that will help with giving the kids some classes here in this room and read write talk English and all of that stuff so I hope you really enjoy what you see it looks messy again but look it's construction all the place building over there building over there this is going to be the public room for dance classes all that stuff banana trees are growing everything is going as planned but it will take a little bit more time because it's Mexico it's not Europe where everything is constructed in a day and it takes time here and it also takes funds and we are happy me my wife my kids to help them even further I come back every time and check up what they are doing and I'm just amazed to see what is uh, being built and um, the problem is that I couldn't come at four o'clock when the school when the kids come and all that stuff because uh, I'm busy today I need to go to the meetup in Tulum I need to go and um, to the meet up by the common I still have a meeting to do in between but I'm very happy to see man what is happening over here thank you so much for not doubting thank you for still trusting what we are building over here and as you can see it's going to be massive I have some drone shots from above I will put them in the video as well yeah it's I'm still amazed how we pulled this off I as a year ago I was here crying and made a video I, I couldn't control my emotions because I saw the poor kids and in one year time we built almost a school like people are already going to school every day but those two buildings still need to be finished to become fully classrooms for the next winter where they have hurricanes and all that stuff over here so and uh, I still have some stuff from the car that I need to drop to the school the stuff that Jessa didn't need anymore um, I think I'm I, I need to use this one too windy better sound so I'm going to drop this Jessa gave away like all that stuff I don't know what it is it's, oh, three bags full of oh, toys and things she doesn't want to use anymore so um, yeah that's uh, exactly what Jessa is like she buys a lot and then she gathers it and then she you know she gives it away to poor kids um, that's what I like about Jessa and yes Julie and Juno did the same when they were younger but they are not buying this stuff anymore they are now buying makeup as you have seen on the videos guys oh, dropping it in the room I'll put it in the room over there for me. So it's not only money they need, they need volunteer help, uh, toys, books, everything you can miss, you can bring them. If you have stuff after your holiday here in Mexico that you don't use anymore, text me, I will connect you to Fernando or somebody else of the team and, and you know, they are always here and happy with all the stuff oh, then we, that you can give them, sorry. This camera work of the video was not that good. Well, that's it, sweaty. Very happy. I hope you really enjoyed um, as well what we have built till now. If you did enjoy it, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know if you want to help with volunteering, helping, educating people here. I will connect you to the volunteers over here that you can always, even if you want to spend one day with the job, you can help them. It's very early now, so um, I'm going to go to the next meeting and we'll keep filming. And hope you enjoyed this one so far. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Today, not tomorrow.